welcome back to a, another vlog if you are new here hey welcome i'm sean this is my channel the guiding family over here i share primarily family vlogs weekly vlogs all kind of vlogs y'all and also i'm on a weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds so if you want to follow along that journey make sure you stick around subscribe i'd love to have you so Y'all, I decided to make this video a little bit different than my others. I typically throw the updates into a full vlog, but today I just want to make sure that this video is only about my weight loss journey. So now I'm going to give you a quick disclaimer because I do not want to be triggering for anybody. So I am not a healthcare professional, y'all. If you didn't know that, I'm not a dietitian, a nutritionist, or any of that. I'm just a regular person sharing my weight loss journey on YouTube to keep myself accountable one and in hopes that it may help somebody or inspire you if you are on the same type of journey however if the topic of weight loss is triggering for you please click off watch you something else take care of your mental health is very important y'all like I'm big on that so like I don't want you watching anything that may trigger you now y'all let's talk about the month of July so the last time I saw y'all was at the beginning of July I was telling y'all about my um june goals and like how i did and at the end of june i was down 41 pounds so i'm super excited about that i was down 41 pounds and everything was going really good so now we're gonna hop into july and i do have notes y'all i even like printed notes from my phone that i typed up y'all i want to make sure that i'm really staying on topic because y'all know you girls a talker okay so anyways um so the month of july my little calendar three goals were to log my foods daily which i have consistently logged my food for i want to say 99 days today is august 1st this will make 100 days of logging my foods tracking everything that i put in my mouth okay and also i wanted to stand for about 20 minutes an hour i was checking my phone and it said i averaged about maybe 10 minutes an hour that's outside of my hour-long workout and i wanted to up that i really didn't do well with that y'all that's one goal that i'm going to have to put into my august goals because i just kind of slacked on that one a little bit another goal the third goal anyway that i had for myself was to incorporate squats and wall push-ups and i did talk about it briefly in the last vlog that i put out but i have started incorporating some squats some um, wall push-ups um i've been doing 100 wall push-ups a day and 100 squats a day and i'm finally past the sore phase where i cannot walk after doing my squats so that's been feeling good. Um, I'm still doing my wall push-ups. I just kind of up the intensity of them. I really feel it where I want to feel it. <laughs> so hopefully that will help me be able to do a full push-up because that's my ultimate goal of incorporating the wall push-up. Incorporating the squats is just to kind of start to tone my quads because that's like one place that I really do not like on my body. So we're going to work on that. Um, I am wanting to incorporate a lot more strength training. So I've been doing like dumbbell workouts um, and that's been going really well. So that's that on that. The motivational quote that I had for July, I don't even think I shared this, but I chose the quote, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. And it's so true. Like if you doubt yourself, that means you probably never started because you didn't believe in yourself anyway. So it's a dream killer. You didn't even get the chance to fail because you didn't believe in yourself. So I had to believe in myself on this journey because self-doubt really does creep in. I've wanted to lose weight for so long, um, at least the past four years. My daughter is four. She's my youngest. And I definitely wanted to lose weight since after I had her because having her, I gained the most weight, like biggest I've ever been. I didn't grow up with a weight problem. I've always been on the thin side, I will say that. In high school, I think I graduated, I was like 120 pounds. After high school and college, when I met my husband, I was around 140 pounds. I am 5'6", for reference, if that helps y'all. And in the course of that time, I had gained like a lot of weight. I want to say when I had my daughter, I had gained about 70 pounds at that point. And in total, I've gained like 100 pounds plus, okay? <laughs> we'll talk about that later i will say that in the month of july i was able to lose an additional 10 pounds y'all it was a good month it was a good month i lost an additional 10 pounds so recap in june i was down 41 pounds so i've lost an additional 10 pounds your girl is 51 pounds down 
I don't know, like it's such a huge milestone that I don't even know what to say because I didn't expect to get this far in my journey. And in the past four months, I've been able to lose 50 pounds and I feel so much better. I feel just lighter, if that makes sense. And I feel lighter in a sense of like, I was feeling so heavy with um, just the discomfort, I guess, of being in my skin, uh, knowing that I was so unhealthy and all the health complications that I also had to deal with during that time. So I'm feeling a lot better. I've lost 51 pounds, y'all, yay! <laughs> And so we got 49 more pounds to go, okay? But you know what? I take it five pounds at a time. So I celebrate each five pounds that I lose. I actually celebrate every pound. I'm like super excited to see the scale going down. And I know a lot of people say like the scale doesn't matter. It kind of matters to me, but it's not the only thing that matters. How I feel is probably like the best thing for me. Like how I feel matters at the top. And then, you know, obviously how I look, we all want to look good and I have issues like seeing myself how I was pre-kids and like grieving kind of that body, you know, because you couldn't tell me nothing back then. I really was very confident in the size, but you know what? I was not healthy at all. Yeah, I was slim and I was small and, you know, on a BMI scale, I was healthy, but I wasn't. I ate like crap, okay? I just ate whatever I wanted to eat. Now, I didn't eat like in excess, but... You know, me and my husband, we went out to eat all the time. And, you know, that's just how it was. We didn't have no kids. So we were just eating and living and enjoying. And I never really paid attention to what I was eating. So, yeah, I ate out a whole lot. And now I'm so much healthier in that regard because I don't eat out regularly. Now, I have started eating out a little bit because I've been learning like what foods, you know, that I can still have in a deficit. The only place I've tried so far is Chick-fil-A and I usually get grilled nuggets. But anyway, let me get back on track. I wanna start out by talking about what I eat or pretty much just some ideas and just how I'm doing it. So you guys, I am in a caloric deficit or a calorie deficit, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and how I calculated my deficit at the beginning, I went to like TDEE calculator on Google. Just Googled it and the first one that pops up, click on that one. It tells you your total energy expenditure. Um, we all just burn calories throughout the day. Just by being alive and breathing, you burning calories regardless. Like keeps your metabolism going. You're going to burn some calories. However, I wanted to be in a deficit um, to lose weight. So it will tell you your daily calories for each activity level. So whether you are sedentary, which means you pretty much do nothing all day, okay? You just kind of lay around, you lounge around, you just living your best life sedentary okay and then like low activity moderate activity and high activity so my activity i don't think is high i don't even know if it's considered moderate because you know i don't work out hard i don't work out hard and we'll talk about that later but the tdee calculator really helped me with that and also i use the lose it app so i've shown y'all this app before i use the lose it app there's so much that i love about the lose it app it has really helped me stay on track i've used it in the past before after i had my son i was able to lose the baby weight after i had him by using this app so I do have experience using it now. They have a free version and a paid version. Um, and it's a calorie counting app, by the way. If you didn't know, it is a calorie counting app. I currently use the paid version, but the free version is good. And when I lost weight the first time, I used the free version. This time, I just really wanted to be able to pre-log my meals. That is something that I love about the app because I'm able to pre-log my meals in the app for the next day or the week or whatever. And I make a meal plan every week and I'm able to look and see how many calories I'm having. I can tell what kind of snack I can have because, you know, I want to just know what I can do with the calories that I'm allotted. Um, now, I will not tell you my calorie budget because I don't think that it'll help you. I have people that ask me, like, how many calories are you eating? This is all determined by your height, your size, like your weight your height, male, female, you know, age. It's also determined by your activity level. So that's just something that I'm not comfortable telling you guys because like I said, 
I am not a healthcare professional, okay? So I don't want anybody eating the amount of calories that I eat and then having complications or saying this isn't working for you. Um, I think what I'm doing is working for me because it's kind of personal to me. With the Lose It app, it does help keep me on track. Um, like I said, I can pre-log my foods and I love that about it. But also what I like that it does, it, it keeps me on track with my macros. So I don't actually count my macros. However, I do pay attention to my macros and I am keeping track of mostly my protein. So I want to make sure that my protein intake is over 100 grams. I will tell y'all that like whatever your goal weight is, that's how much protein you should have. But you know, it's hard to get all that protein. But I'm doing my best to get as much protein as I can. I'm currently tracking my fiber intake and I think that's been really helpful. I eat moderate carbs without even trying. I always have like 100 grams of carbs that's about my standard i don't give up or eliminate any food groups i do want y'all to know that like i haven't eliminated any food groups that i was having prior to going on this journey my favorite favorite thing about the app that it gives like these cute awards for every five pounds lost so Every time you lose a new five pounds, something will pop up on the screen. And I'll show y'all some examples because I screenshot and save them all. So I'll share them somewhere here. But it has like the cutest things that pop up and it'll compare like how much weight you've lost uh, in pounds to something else in the world. And it's so adorable. Like just say like a table lamp is five pounds. It'll be like, oh, you lost the weight of a table lamp. And it's just so adorable. And also when you lose like a certain milestone weight, it'll pop up. I'm just, I love it. It's a very encouraging app, I believe, in my opinion. You can add friends. Um, if you have friends that are also using the app or on the journey with you, there's groups where like people are on a journey to lose 50 to 100 pounds and just seeing everybody's progress is very, very motivating. Um, but you don't have to participate in the groups or anything if you don't want to. Your profile can be completely private. So let's get to the food, y'all. We all love to eat, okay? We love to eat, <laughs> however, what type of meals I eat. So for the most part, I eat lean meats. I eat like chicken. Um, mostly chicken breast, so like chicken breast, chicken tenderloins, stuff like that. Also, I have a lot of like lean ground beef, lean burger patties, turkey bacon, shrimp, fish. That's pretty much it. I've just named all the meats I eat. I don't really eat anything outside of that. And I pretty much eat lean meats. I am pre-diabetic, if you don't know that. I don't know if I'm still pre-diabetic, but I'm trying not to be in a pre-diabetic range. The last time I went to the doctor, my A1C was a 6.2. I want to say um if i can find it i'll put it on the screen <laughs> just so you know you can see but my a1c was like a 6.2 last time so i will be going back to the doctor in the fall to just ch get more labs and see how i'm doing and if what i'm doing what i'm eating is making a difference i eat mostly lean proteins i also eat a ton of vegetables i eat some fruit i don't eat as much fruit as i do veggies just because i'm a veggie lover i do love fruit as well but that's just me i eat potatoes okay those little potato company little potatoes are bomb okay i love them roasted i eat i love asparagus brussels sprouts cabbage green beans broccoli uh cauliflower i love all vegetables y'all so much like vegetables are like the staple on my plate now i do track this but half of my plate is like a whole bunch of vegetables and you'll have a little bit of carbs which to me is usually like sweet potatoes i love sweet potatoes i eat baby potatoes like the regular potatoes I, i've never been big on rice so i don't eat rice but i didn't really eat rice before I went on a weight loss journey so i'm not missing anything there i don't really eat a lot of bread i didn't eat bread like that before i went on a weight loss journey that's just something that i never really did or cared for so i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything because i don't eat that anyway but i will say that my protein my meats i make sure i get enough for me for the day because protein is what's gonna keep you feeling full some snack ideas let's get into it because i know a lot of us are snacky people and to be honest, before I went on this journey, I was a very snacky person, okay? Your girl was like sunflower seeds. I like the little munchies from the corner store. <laughs> like, girl, okay? I like snacks. I like chips. I like salty, crunchy type of snack. And surprisingly, I don't have any blood pressure issues because it does run in my family, but 
I've never had any blood pressure issues, child. Let me knock on this fake wood, okay? <laughs> but some snacks that are staples for me are Greek yogurt. Y'all have yogurt every single day. I don't know if I should, but I do. High in protein and low in calories, and I just love yogurt. Um, I'll try to show y'all like some visuals of like what kind of yogurts I like because your girl be eating her yogurt. I like my strawberry cheesecake one. There's a Chobani Flip S'mores one that I really like. I like a whole bunch of different kinds y'all and there's some that are 80 calorie cups and then I have some that are higher calorie cups that I eat as like dessert yogurts after dinner. Also, low calorie ice cream y'all. Okay, it is summertime, it's hot. So anytime I can give me some ice cream, it's a good day. So I really love these fudge pops. I just get them from the grocery store. Y'all know like the little skinny fudge pops. They are 40 calories a pop, okay? 40 calories. I always have two, cause like be for real. <laughs> I always have two of those. Also some ice cream sandwiches at Walmart. They have these 100 calorie ice cream sandwiches that are really good. Um, also the kind ice cream bars. I had some that taste just like Snickers ice cream bars, like bomb. Okay, bomb and full of protein. So we love that. Also kind bars. I like the dark chocolate sea salt ones. I think that's what they're called. I love them so much. They are high protein once again, because I am protein focused and they're just good. I like chocolate. I'm a chocolate girl. Okay. I'm a chocolate girl who loves chocolate. Get into it. But also I love popcorn. So I have like the 100 calorie bags of microwavable popcorn popping in the microwave. You know that that bag is 100 calories. Love that. I also love skinny pop. I know some people don't, you know, but girl, I love me some skinny pop, especially the white cheddar. Also fiber one brownies. They're 70 calories per brownie and they're really good if you're looking for a snack and some protein chips, y'all. They're about 100 140 calories depending on what flavor you get but like I said I'm protein focused so I do have a quest protein chip and another snack for me is fruit like I'll eat a bowl of pineapples oranges grapes you know whatever uh that's pretty much strawberries grapefruit i love grapefruit y'all so i love my fruit it's so good so yeah those are pretty much the snacks that i have so i'm making sure that i'm not leaving anything out also something that if you watch me, you already know, but I have a lot of oats. Like I eat overnight oats every day, probably for the past three months. The first month that I started out, I was eating breakfast sandwiches. So I would have like an English muffin with turkey bacon, egg and cheese. So bomb, such a feeling, satisfying breakfast. But now overnight oats have a hold on me. So I make my overnight oats and I show these in so many videos and they're so good, kind of low calorie. They give you a good source of protein and fiber. Um, so that's been really, really good. And I only have, um, overnight oats. I break, wait, rewind y'all. How can I not mention? So if you don't know, I intermittent fast. So I fast every day for about 19 or 20 hours. I'm not really strict on my fast time. Like if it's after one o'clock, I can break my fast. Typically that's usually 19 hours, but by the time I sit down and eat, it's closer to 20 hours because I'm just making food and doing other things. So when I break my fast, I typically start with overnight oats, some turkey bacon. I am consistent with my turkey bacon. I'm a turkey bacon lover, turkey bacon lover. So I have two slices of turkey bacon, some oats and some yogurt. Sometimes I'll put fruit in my yogurt. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And that's what I'll break my fast with. And then a couple hours later, after I've relaxed, for a little bit I'll come back and have me one one cup of coffee that day y'all and notice that I don't have coffee in the morning I'll only drink plain water all day like plain water okay all day long up until one o'clock and then at one o'clock I allow myself to have like my magnesium water or like a green tea whatever I want because my fast is over but that's pretty much it y'all and i have been fasting consistently for the past four months and i feel really good fasting is really good for like inflammation also if you're a person that just needs to cut out some calories it's a good way to kind of naturally put you in a deficit but i just like the way that my body feels when i'm fasting and i'm not eating late because that was a problem i had i was a late night eater some people like graze all day i didn't do that my issue was i would eat and then at night i want to be in the bed with a book
book and a snack. And I would have a whole bag of chips like this size. And I would eat that whole bag not knowing that that's probably 700, 800 calories. And when I started really paying attention to my calories, I realized that, you know, I would always say, well, I don't eat that much. I don't eat that much. It wasn't that I wasn't eating that much. It was what I was eating. You know, if I went to Popeye's and got me some chicken, that was like 1200 calorie meal just for my one little meal on top of all the other meals I'd already ate or I'm going to eat throughout the day. So we just have to be mindful of that um, because the only way that I know to lose weight is to be in a calorie deficit. Even if you're not tracking and you're just being mindful, you actually have to eat less and move more. And I know that when people are like, what are you doing, what are you doing? That's all I'm doing, y'all. I'm not doing anything that's never been done. I'm not doing anything special, but it does work. I'm here to tell you it works. I've lost 51 pounds. I'm gonna be inserting before and after pictures you probably already seen some by this point i hope but if not i'll start inserting them here um just some before and now pictures because i'm not done i have 49 more pounds that i'm gonna lose and y'all gonna be here cheering me on but i will say that the past four months have been just so good for me i just feel so much better i will talk about like exercise so i get questions about exercise on the daily because y'all know i take my little morning walks right on my treadmill I got a treadmill at the beginning of my journey. My husband gifted me one and I'm so grateful. And the crazy thing is we both kind of doubted that I would use the treadmill because that's the kind of person I am. He's bought me exercise equipment. I got bikes, I got rowing machines. I got all kinds of stuff. I've had an elliptical and that stuff just collects dust, okay? I'll be consistent a little while, but then I'll fall off after a month. But y'all, it's been four months of me getting on the treadmill every day for an hour, every single morning. That's the first thing I do after I feed my kids, okay? Cause I'm not trifling. However, Ever. I do a one hour incline walk a day and a lot of people ask me what incline that I walk on so I will say I start out slow y'all like start out on a low incline I know a lot of people are doing the 12 3 30 and like you just want to do what other people are doing because you think it's going to get you faster results take it easy on your joints okay because I started out going hard and I had to sit out for a month or two you know and get myself together so comfortably I'm at about a six incline. My treadmill goes up to a 10. I have exercised at a 10 incline before. Um, it's just not my comfort zone and it's just not that deep for me y'all, you know? So I walk at about a three pace, like three miles per hour on incline six for a good part of an hour. I do kind of work my way up. I don't just get on a treadmill and punch like high incline and like speed. I start out at like two miles per hour, just like pacing, stretching out my legs and then I up it. So yeah, just take it easy with the exercise. I don't do anything else. That's it outside of the squats and the wall pushups that I've just recently started incorporating. I don't do anything else as far as exercise. So don't feel like you need to be out here like going hard. You can do that and I do truly believe that, you know, working out hard, you will reap the benefits um, cause body composition is something that is important to me, but right now I really just want to get down a little bit more weight before I truly focus on building that strength. My daily steps is about 10,000 steps. That's minimum. So the minimum amount of steps that I allow myself to have before I get into bed at night is 10,000. If I look at my watch and I'm like, mm, you ain't got 10,000 steps. Guess who ain't about to go to bed? I'm about to march in place. And a lot of people are like, how do you get so many steps at home? I'm a stay at home mom. I'm primarily around the home, y'all. But you see me sitting here, I'll sit here and I'll sit here and do a thousand steps just like this. Just like this while I'm talking to y'all. People are like, how can I get some steps? You work from home, pull your chair back a little bit and just start marching. These steps count. This counts as movement. Did you know that? It counts as movement. Everything that we're doing. I'm in the kitchen and I'm unloading the dishwasher or I'm cooking. I'm standing there cooking. I'm marching. I'm marching and cooking. I'm, I homeschool my kids. I don't just sit the whole time. I'll stand up and march and I'm teaching and marching. <laughs> like, that's just how I get my steps and my movement. It's very important to me to move my body. The health app on my iPhone told me that I'm walking so much more than I did last year. Last year, my average steps was like 2,000 steps a day. I know. I know. And right now my average is like 11,000 steps a day. I do want to do more, but you know, I am meeting my minimum requirement <laughs> that I have for myself and I'm happy with that. I am walking laps in the house, I'm marching in place, I'm doing seated marches and it all adds up to movement. You're burning calories and you're just in a good, healthy place for yourself. So well, I'm trying to learn to do a push-up by doing wall push-ups and then I'll do counter push-ups. The height of my dresser is like a really good one too. 
too. Um, and also negative push-ups. So that's how I work in my squats. And then I do dumbbell workouts, which I'll share the video in the description box of the dumbbell workout that I do. It's a 10 minute video. I do it two or three times in a row, uh, three times a week. How did I track my progress? I tracked my progress, obviously through the Lose It app because I can go in and log my weight, you know, weekly, daily, monthly, however much you want to track your weight. I pretty much look at my weight every morning. I don't always log it. Well, I log it, I have a log in my phone but I don't always log it on the app, but it just keeps me on track. I know if what I'm doing is working. So I use my weight loss journal. This is it here. You're able to like go in and it says my journey. You have your weight loss goals. I have some goals here. So far to fit my wedding ring, y'all tried on my ring and I actually can't fit it now. Uh, I won't say it's super comfortable, but it's not snug. I can get it on and off. So I'm gonna lose about 10, 15 more pounds before I start wearing it. Close my bath towel around my body. I can close a bath towel without the little, you know, y'all yeah, don't know. Let me, let me stand up. So you know, you put your towel on and you got the little V right here. Uh uh sis, it closes all the way. And I haven't been able to do that in so long. Like it feels good to just get out the shower and be able to wrap my whole body in a towel. I want to walk a 15 minute mile because I'm a little slow, y'all. <laughs> my quickest mile is about 17 minutes. So a goal of mine is to walk a 15 minute mile and also to do a full push up, which I told y'all I was working on. So those are some of my goals that, you know, I wanted to share with you guys. But we are now in the month of August. And I'm so excited uh, to continue my journey in this month. I have not written out my goals and things, so I'll be sharing those a little later. But like I said, a goal is to walk for 20 minutes within each hour. I know that that's gonna be one of my top goals. Log my foods daily is always a goal for me. Um, So yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. And if you have any questions pertaining to anything that I've talked about today, make sure you drop them in the comments. I don't mind helping or sharing what I'm doing if it can help you as well. Just know that I'm not taking any medications. I am not, you know, doing anything extreme. I'm not drinking shakes and like water and, and smoothies. I'm actually eating real food and it feels good. So I'm happy to help in any way that I can. I hope you've enjoyed hearing how your girl has been able to successfully lose over 50 pounds in four months. I'm very proud of that milestone. I don't really give myself goals at the end of the month. My only goal is to make sure that I'm still making progress. And I'm always happy to see that I'm still making progress because these little steps little progress adds up to big results so if you aren't losing weight at the pace that i am that's okay our bodies are all different like i said i move a lot i'm i'm pretty active now like I, but i'm not active to the point where it's high intensity i'm just active to the point where i'm standing much more than i'm sitting down i'm not just sitting and watching tv and if i am i'm doing my seated marches i'm just making sure to constantly be doing some type of movement and it's been helping me so if you've enjoyed seeing my journey and my weight loss updates my health journey updates every month don't forget to give your girl a like okay and if you are new here hit the subscribe button because i'm going to be showing sharing these updates on a monthly basis so i'll see y'all again at the end of august thank you so much for tuning in and watching with your girl i'll see y'all later bye